Life has been challenging, but that after time, I have become very fortunate. If the DREAM Act had been passed from the moment it was first proposed in 2001, which is almost a decade ago, my life would have been completely different. <laughs> like most of you, I was brought at a very young age to the U.S. My parents came here in search of a better future for their children. What my parents didn't expect were the numerous barriers that would stand in our way. Growing up here, I felt that I abided by the rules that were set for me and that I belonged here. I didn't realize the importance of having a social security number until one day I was filling out college applications for college. Sorry, college applications. Um, my parents had never talked to me about the importance of having a social security number and how that would have impacted my life. I was saddened when I found out that the only thing that was standing in my way from achieving my dreams was a nine digit number. I felt betrayed by all those people who once told me that if I worked hard in school, I would be able to go to college and get a better life. In a way, I felt that it was unfair that I had to be born in a country in which my parents were unable to raise their children and in which there was no hope. I thought that all my effort to do well in school and being involved in my community would pay off after high school. While in high school, I felt inferior to the rest of the students that were in my class that would talk to me about their plans to go to high school after high school. I was scared to let others know of my immigration status and why that was stopping me from going to college. After I graduated high school, I gave up and thought that I would never be able to go to college like the rest of my classmates. I did not know what to do with my life. I began working and disregarded the possibility of going to college because my parents didn't have enough money to pay out of state tuition for me. Three years after graduating high school and taking only a few classes in a community college, one day I received a call from a friend who, once, who told me about a scholarship for both documented and undocumented students. I never stood that I, thought that I stood a chance at winning this scholarship because I knew the great number of students that were in the same situation as me and that were probably going to apply for the same scholarship. The day I received the news that I had been chosen for this scholarship and, I was, and that I was the first recipient of this scholarship, I was left speechless because I no longer had to worry about paying for college. The only thing that now stands in my way is being accepted as a transfer and out-of-state student to UNC at Chapel Hill, although I have lived here for over 15 years. It breaks my heart to know that no matter how hard my brothers work in high school, they will still have difficulty getting the money to go to college. It frightens me to know that when I graduate from college, the same nightmare will continue. The fear that I won't be able to achieve my goals because of my immigration status. I am scared to think that when I finally receive a bachelor's degree, I will be unable to find or keep a job because I'm not here legally. If the dream I passed, my life would change in almost every aspect. I would no longer live with the fear of one day losing everything I have worked for. Many students, including my brothers, would have something to look forward to after high school. It is painful to think that others see me as a criminal and that many doors are closed to me because I was brought here as a child. If the DREAM Act passed, children and teenagers would not have to feel insecure about their futures. Undocumented students would have the opportunity to reunite with family members that they have not seen in years. If the DREAM Act passed, my parents would feel that they achieved something in coming here. Someday, I would like my parents to not have to break their backs in order to put food on the table or provide a shelter for us. I would like to take care of them and let them know that everything that they did for my brothers and I was not in vain. If only more, more people would put themselves in the shoes of the many undocumented students that are only hoping for a better life, the DREAM Act would no longer be a dream but a reality. I would like to say that I no longer want to be seen as a threat or a criminal in this country. I want to be a productive and law-abiding citizen. That's why I'm asking my friends, teachers, and allies who are citizens to call Congress to let them know that we need to pass the DREAM Act now. would like to go to college so as soon as I graduate from high school and I don't know what I want to study yet. <laughs> I 
Yo todavía no tengo una, una meta que quiero hacer, pero sí quiero entrar al colegio. Um, I graduated high school in like 2008. I would like to go to um, UNCW for business. Meredith and transferred to UNC to major in journalism and I want to work for Univision. Yeah.